I think you're getting used to the cards combos. I'm, I am, but I don't like, I feel like I'm not saying anything. I'm just playing cards, but it's because I don't know how to like verbalize what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just like playing cards. So it was like not good commentary, but like I don't even know where to start to say what I'm doing. Uh, do we just fight this dude? Oh, of course we're. Oh, watch him call. Where are we? Let's go go to this one house, and then we'll. I think this is the hunting thing. We'll do a couple more combats, and then we'll go fight the thing. Um, we also haven't fought multiple enemies in a while, so. Okay, let's play this, and then we can play this. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Oh, we've already got barrier. We're already over it. Okay, so if we stun, stun this thing. Actually, we could just kill it, too. I said we could just kill it, too. Let's play this. Let's draw two more arrows. I guess we'll shoot the healer. Um, we're still not taking damage. One health. Stun the dude that's doing a debuff. And then just don't play anything. We drew no, no arrows. We still have more barrier than we need. Uh, play that just to flip it. don't have any barrier this time. Okay, in that case. I should have done that first. But it doesn't matter, he's still dead. Ooh. Lose 100 armor, that's fine. I should have played this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, get stunned. Draw some arrows. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Okay. Uh, draw one card. It's a combat item, I assume. Yeah, we don't have room for it. And it's only got one use, so we'll just hold on to it. Okay. Uh, and then, what's this? Is this the hunting one? Where is it? Yeah, this is the hunting one. The local hunters call this ancient skull the stag father. And I mean, so hunting last time we got ten meat the legend that healed the us. Stag Let's try sleeping. Uh. I take my decision back, please. Get killed? He actually didn't get killed. Not that we took a lot of damage, but... their damage lose armor 
I get armor. Okay. We're not really gonna have a great We're not taking damage again. And we can still do damage. Easy. Oh, interesting. Uh, I mean, they're just dead. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we got a level. Sacrifice 10% of your current max HP light award candle. Huh. Interesting. I also have never seen this button. Uh, draw two arrows. Deal one hit for 400% damage. Next turn, lose one energy. Draw two arrows and gain three. I think I like this. This is way better than that. Okay, uh, forget two skills, restore health. Uh, let's restore health. Okay, let's... Fortune seller. The prisoner gave you the ability to... Re uh, okay, that makes sense then. Uh, let's do this, and then we'll fight the... Yeah, okay, that makes sense why I didn't see it. I'm not blind. That dude gave it to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll give you all 20 barrier. We will... You annoy me the most. You're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Now you probably annoy me more. I don't need anything right now. Um. What's this stun? We'll stun you. So we can stun you both if we really need to, but I think you're just dead. See what this fortune teller is all about. And then we'll move on. Good day, stranger. Are you in need of some guidance? It's a question asked by an eerie yet elegant woman who's just appeared in front of your eyes. She's of indiscernible age, but looks strangely disturbing, standing peacefully within the weirdness. You can withdraw the course of your destiny and change the fate of your future fights. Come okay. closer and see for yourself. Open the shop. Discard all cards in hand and draw three cards. Offer 10 HP and gain one energy. Sacrifice. Yeah, okay, I already got one of those. No one knows what this does. These are combat items. I don't really care. I've already got combat items. We got all the combat items I need. Okay, let's go fight this dude. If you sold me war candles, I'd be down, but. Mm. I think it might be more worthwhile to pop this, get a candle, 
not have to worry about. I mean, am I actually gonna use the mushroom? I don't even, like, I don't know what it does, literally. So maybe we go like this. then let's use this so that they'll leave me alone a little bit uh, let's lose 100 armor because it does give me barrier when I don't have armor Let's stun you. Yeah, it's not a great first turn, but that's really all we can do. Actually, this isn't even that good either. I kept thinking it was 100 damage, but it's 100% damage. So it's really pretty useless. Uh, We'll acid guard you. We'll shadow shot you. Ooh. Uh. We do have fifty barrier though. So we shouldn't take any damage on this. Nah, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, being minus armor isn't that big a deal. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do this. Now we're back to positive armor, which I still don't know if it's good being positive armor. It looked like he was doing pretty good being negative armor. But but we will get tons of barrier from this now. Pop this, pop this, and then we just go off. on this dude. Does it really matter? Nah, probably not. But One hit for 15 to 21. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. We are going to take a hit, but that should be fine. It's literally two damage. Gain barrier equal to 100. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, we don't really need to, I guess. Let's just draw some arrows. Start shooting. Should have done it in the reverse order, but that's fine. We'll stun you, doesn't really matter, but it gives us more hits for that. Now you're doing some damage. I haven't even been using these, like, I've just been, this is almost like a, a shiv deck from, uh, from Slate the Spire. With the. I've got like 500 hours in the game and I can't remember everybody's name. The Silent, I think. Uh, Should have done it in reverse order. Yeah, the silent shit. Yeah, yeah, it's what it seems like right now. Oh my god, they both died. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Uh, 
Sure, I'll take another candle. This feels like an echo of something that happened before. Like then, you're left with the sensation of a strange power growing within you. Uh, I think we'll take a skill. At the start of every turn, gain plus 25% damage for the next hit. After killing an enemy, heal yourself for two. Every tenth card in one combat, increase your damage by 10% until the end of combat. I think we'll play this because we are playing so many cards. It's like, uh, it's like having Kunai or Shuriken or whatever in the Slay the Spire. With the shiv deck you just play so many shivs that you end up get, getting like 10 decks and 10 strength without even knowing what he did uh slay the third beast of the world did i not just do that do i gotta talk to buddy i'll talk to you in a second sir or no that literally is the first one and then i have to do oh my god i thought that was literally the first I thought that, like, that was the third one. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll buy. I mean, we've got all. We got so many now. Upgrades. Pick a quest card for your journey. Sure. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Um, gain 75 armor this turn. Use this card four or more times to pr turn it into Proud Excalibur. Deal one hit for 5,000 damage. Oh my god. Discard your hand and draw two cards. Discard 30 cards. More. Th more discard more than 30 cards with this card to turn it into Gluttonous Beast. Draw two cards. Reduce their cost to zero. I'm assuming that's a neutral card. Yes, it is. And it's a legendary, has three charges, and this lose all energy. Next turn, draw one more card. Lose 12 energy more. Lose more than 12 energy with this card to turn it into slothful impulse. Neutral, gain two energy. <sighs> My brain. Um. Let's go with Um Let's go with Gluttony. Ask to be healed. Heal yourself for 50% of your max HP. Why am I 96 of 120 right now? So I heal for 60. I think I saved that. Just bet on the fact that I beat the next one. Uh, ask about the archer's condition. You tell her about the older man you met whose legs are somehow merged with the fire. She listens to your description and suddenly gasps with joy. So you say that this guy Sounds is good. merged with We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. And that it repels the weirdness, like like a menhir or, or a weird kind of... Splendid. Yep. You need to bring me a sample. His legs are like roots, you say? Then bring me a sample of the bar or, or whatever it is that they're made of. His veins might be interesting. Maybe we could improve our men here, or come up with other forms of protection, or... She blushes as she meets your gaze. And, and, and help this poor soul, of course. <laughs> Release him from this curse. Yes, yes, obviously. All right. Uh, I have one coin. Leave. Thank you for 
breaking me out of that prison. And a P and P. Maybe it was an eternity. Are you ready to practice? Uh, talk. How did you end up? There's in prison? nothing to talk about, really. Prisons are built to lock bad people up, so I must have been one of them back then. That's not an Why answer. are you so interested in my past? Well, you gave me back my freedom. I suppose that I owe you a story in addition to my services. Uh, I was a commander of Lord Warwick's private army. Served under his damned eight stars on a burgundy background flag. When I tried to retire, he forced me to stay on as a tutor. So I trained his soldiers. And believe me, I trained them well. Did you? Then one time I disobeyed an order. Refused to train one of the younglings. I just couldn't. You can see that he doesn't want to continue. The ending of this story? Well, you already know it. You set me free from the prison I ended up in. And now my skills are at your command. Just do not repeat my lord's mistakes. Okay. Semper Fi. So what are these mistakes that I shouldn't Don't repeat? Be stubborn. Observe what's going on around you. Then you should be fine. I shall speak no more. I have my honor to protect. Well, that's all I have left of my former life. All right. Uh... Get a new card, choose from one of three, remove card. Mark his first name, pick a card you'll have to start with every combat. Okay. Permanently increase the number of cards drawn in the first turn of combat. Draw more cards every turn. Is this card shreds? I have two card shreds. Oh. Can't I get up? I don't want to the blacksmith to you. is hard at work when you approach him. Um, oh, I still don't have any. Every time you merge rune stones, you earn some rune stone dust. How do I, I merge them by transmuting them? Is that what I do? Transmute three ground into one of the same rarity. Or is merging when you have three of the same kind? Which is the one I'm not using? Yeah. You need three of the same type and rarity to, rarity to merge them. And is that the trans is that the transmute one, or do I do that somewhere else? What's in my weapon, right? Or what? Uh, Yeah, Ethel is the one I'm not using. So like if I pick up two Ethels. The blacksmith is hard at work when you approach him. No, you no, you get a special option. Oh, okay, okay. So he's only got one in stock. Let's buy it. I guess we'll just leave it at that for now. You got anything going on here, sir? No. Okay. 
Well, on that note, let's go, I guess. Assuming you're the legendary, what the map? Um, what's this big house? Host of evil. Yeah. Okay. I've seen you before. Each hit received by this enemy will make it deal one more hit in its next attack. Rabbit rat. Reduce damage of all enemies by 10% this turn. Yeah. I'll also pop this, I guess. Um, we'll use this. Stun. Let's stun you. We'll faint. And then we'll damage you. Bloodstone. I mean, I have no armor right now. Let's do that. Let's do this. We're still going to take damage. But I think that was the best option to lessen the damage. Distraction. I have no armor. I have no way to get armor. I might be able to kill this guy. I can kill this guy. So that's a start. And they'll make it so he does two damage. Quest cards can be played once for combat, but if you fulfill their condition, okay. Yeah. So there's discard. Yeah, okay. So we might discard something. But right now, the goal is to... I don't think we're going to discard anything. armor of all enemies. Yeah, sure. We'll also acid shot you. I definitely need to play acid shot first, like every time. And shadow shot. Because they decrease the armor. Okay. Draw two arrow arrows. Gain 50 barrier. Two toxic shots, deal one hit for 50% damage and reduce armor. It's pretty good. Deal one hit, gain 15% barrier, or 15 barrier. I think we'll go with this because we don't need the charges to use it. Each hit dealt by the Phantom reduces the target's armor by five. Increase the maximum number of ultimate charges by 10. Drawing additional arrows gr grants you t plus. I don't know if this is useful because we seem to never have, a f like it never gets to max. But we seem to draw arrows half frequently. So maybe that. And we got another gar. Could a tavern. lively tavern in the middle of nowhere be anything more than a weirdness bloomed mirage? 
Even if the building is real, who would dare to party in such a place at such a time? Um, rest requires a hundred. Let's play dice. People inside the tavern welcome you to their table and invite you to play with them. However, the game isn't cheap. Uh, let's play. You lost. Oh, no, sorry. That's what I paid. Um, yeah, let's do another one. We won again. Let's leave now. And we'll rest. It wasn't a particularly nice. good night. The weird sounds coming from below woke you up more times than you could count. After leaving your room, you're a bit surprised that everyone's still having the same conversations as the night before. There's a man saying the same farewells he said before. Another one falling under the table the same way as yesterday, to the same laugh of his friends. Then you see a man sitting in a darkened corner of the tavern. He's playing cards, alone, and his deck doesn't resemble one you've ever seen. You're the Approach first him. blue face I've seen in quite a while. They're all ready to grind out what's going on here, aren't you? Is this a spell of some kind? No, I'm no wizard. Just an old crook. And somehow this is the last moment these people, myself included, lived through before our village was consumed. But it seems like I'm the only one who understands what's happening here. The rest? They're stuck. And they've been stuck for years it feels like connected to your courage you yourself it? he pauses his solitaire game for a moment and you notice the reality around you slowly changing people start moving slower their skin loses color some even show clear signs of decomposition he starts playing his game again everything immediately gets back to normal I'm having a nice game of solitaire, and you intend to keep them alive forever. Why won't you stop? Aren't you tired of this? Why won't you stop? responsible for the death of all me friends. Fair. Tell me, will me friends end up like all those beasts, twisted by the weirdness? Am I going to end up like that? I don't know, but I can promise I'll help if I that understand. happens. And I suppose that's more than I can ask for. At least I die knowing. That I won't hurt any innocent people after I turn. Farewell, then. Lay down his cards and close his eyes. You watch eyes. the same scene unfolding again. People losing color, shriveling into corpses, but not stopping in their tracks. Until all that remains is dried blood and bones scattered on the ground. The place is empty, silent, and dark. As you start walking towards the doors, you hear a voice behind you. Look, I need to tell you, I didn't expect that. Before you have a chance to say anything, the ghost continues. No, this feels good. I haven't been this huh. full of energy and life since, like, ever. That's a good joke, if I ever heard one. But you know what's best? I can see. I can see more now than I ever did. One thing I know, for example, is that you have a village you call your own. Near a nice, warm men here, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that you'll be extremely happy to know that I'm ready to move to your village. You'll thank me later. You'll see. No worries. I'll settle in no time. See you there. Interesting. So what do you do? Ghost allows you to multiply your wealth. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. You're the one that phases in and out. You attack your own friends. Uh, 
let's go with let's get this first should go back to the other order but it's fine we'll do this so we don't take any damage We'll stun you. We'll do that so we get some armor, or some barrier, sorry. Then you can die, and then we won't take any damage. You're gonna debuff? Reduce damage of all enemies by 50%. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we can stun you again. That was the wrong card. We'll stun you. You're doing two damage. That's fine. I always do it in the wrong order. We'll use that. We'll use this. We'll stun you. We'll shoot you. I never use this. start working on that. Oh, I took damage. For some reason I was thinking he wasn't he wasn't attacking. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I definitely was. One damage. You're doing a buff, okay. We can't kill you this turn, but we can get you to one health. That's not the button. That is, oh, this still does damage. Oh, we got we got a level. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take one. I should put another uh, another combat item in. Uh, gain twenty armor this turn, then gain barrier equal to hundred percent of your armor. We'll take that. We're just taking every card constantly. Oh, it's silence. Um. I don't know what you do, but we'll put you in there. Silence. An ethereal creature made of light and fog appears in front of you. The whole world seems hushed due to her presence. She is truly remarkably beautiful. It must be Silence, the girl that the blacksmith told you about. As you come closer, yep. the girl becomes aware of your presence. She runs into the nearby bushes, trying to hide from your eyes. You take a few slow steps, but there's no sign of her anywhere. Instead, a snow-white swan flies up into the sky. No objective, okay. Uh, quests? 
So I'm gonna bring her back a sample to Archer's leg. You met Silence, but the moment you got close to her, she turned into a swan and disappeared. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, what's over here? Oh, another altar. Let's do this. Okay. We're better off just stunning you. I knew that this creature would come back as another different enemy. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of you first. Again, should have used this first. You're a big dude for one health. Dude's armor of all enemies. So we'll just get rid of you. Oh, you die anyway. We'll use that. We're not taking damage. Uh, we could stun you. Or we could... Oh, we don't have enough... Uh, Acid shot you. Then we'll discard. Start working on this gluttony. We'll just shoot you and we'll shoot you. And you're just going to keep coming back. Until now. Okay. Easy. The shrine has faint. Perform a you ritual. Feel a strange power rising around. Additional legendary card at the, at the altar. I guess. The priestess gazes at you with a blank stare. You realize that, despite her phantasmal appearance, the payment for her services must be very real indeed. Yeah, sure. She carefully counts the coins you gave her. Only then does she whisper a spell. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. All right. Uh, who be you, shadowy presence? We're just getting stuff done. We have no candles, but we're just getting stuff done. Gain 10% damage this turn. Yep. Uh, draw a shadow shot. I mean, we're only taking two damage. So it's fine with me. Or four damage, whatever. shoot you and then we will do that you might die you might die we're doing work uh, use that use that first shoot shoot sure you're dead by pretty sure I mean you're definitely dead that's that one right so we got two of everything oh two of everything two of all the ones that we have before we can start doing you see a glade that was once a battlefield or merging 
whitened bones and rusted shards of armor litter the ground, creating a peculiar mosaic. Suddenly you hear a woman's voice. Her patter is full of longing and hope, yet she seems to be talking to something she's just picked up from the ground. Is that you? You're so beautiful. No, it's not you. Busy with whatever she's doing, she doesn't even notice your presence. The moment come she closer. moves towards her, she emits a horrible shriek. Don't come any closer. And don't look at me, stranger. Don't you dare look at me. Rude. And finally you see her. The crooked silhouette of an old woman clad in herbalist robes. Just a second later, she bursts into tears. Uh, I face bees from the weirdness and you're not even close. Her sobbing grows louder. Guess. Guess how old I am. Uh, 30 to 40. She buries her face in her hands and doesn't even look in your direction. Alright. So I guess I gotta remember that it wasn't 30 to 40 for next time I see her. Uh, who are you? A cursed healer. I don't think we use it. I mean, like, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I probably shouldn't have because I gave her 50 armor for two turns, but. Oh, right. I only got one. Don't change. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll take a shot. He's dead. Overkill, but I would like him to go away. do some damage to this guy. He's not dead. I'm assuming he's gonna die, yeah. We've taken a good amount of damage on this fight, actually. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. It's still a lot of damage. That was a tougher fight than it probably should have been. But we did level. Multi shot random enemies for, for plus 75. For plus 100. For plus 125. Draw zero. One for each two ultimate charge. One for every two ultimate charges. Deal one hit. Okay. Deal one hit for 50% damage and stun the enemy. I think this is worth it. I need to start using them though. Gain plus 30 max HP using a quiver grants you 50% damage this turn. My head. Gain 10 armor. Ultimate ability deals two hits for each ultimate charge. 
gain two damage at the start of your turn gain bear equal to 50 percent i think we do this cracked gar so we have three cracked gars now you can merge them into a better stronger one okay merge interesting Okay. All right. I see the I see the line now. You have all mother's blessings. Yeah. I was I sort of felt like I'll just save them for the uh You hear someone screaming nearby. For Godless the boss fight or whatever, but I have four healing. of them or four charges, so I should just start using the them. Source of the sound. It turns out to be a joyful man advertising his merchandise to the nearest trees who said you need an all mother or a stag father to have a blessing of hell let's not dwell on them anymore it's all about potions and elixirs and other trinkets infused with proper his monologue goes on are you another you dude or are you tiny horns growing from his NPC. skull his mind clearly isn't quite right either Maybe disrespecting the gods wasn't such a great idea after all. I guess they're all NPCs, but are you another dude who comes with me, or maybe the stag father will help, or maybe you'll just die? I don't know if I need any of your stuff. I have so many health potions already. I think I saved my money. What for? I don't know. What are you? I have not seen you before. What's this? Anything? Or oh, I already did this. Or no, I haven't done this yet. Uh, I think I grab a word candle. I pop it. And go fight this thing. And we can use our All Mother's Blessing on this, for sure. Dullahan, this enemy can poison you with its attacks. The poison grows strong with each hit. It will summon allies. It's weak attack with debuff. Yawning portal, every few turns an enemy will try to spawn from this portal. Destroying this portal will remove all poison, heal everyone in combat, increase your damage, and reduce your armor. All healing disabled. Okay, so I can't heal until the thing is dead. Okay. Well. Uh, doesn't... This, though, isn't as good, though, with this person, right? Because it it's going to go away every turn. So it's literally a hundred barrier for one turn. So don't pop it now is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, this is weak for this character, yeah. good I realized it now before I used it and expected it to save my life at least I now know that it's not as good all right so I got healed oh what oh but well, you took 25 daily you could have blocked yeah if I hadn't known that it was a one turn thing at that point I probably would have used it then but I was thinking that it was going to be like a full battle thing. So I was a little bit more uh, protective over it. But And so I also just discovered when you destroy this, it doesn't actually disappear. But I did get to heal. But I lost it. Uh, watch me call. I lost armor when I did it. So, you know. 
Oh. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. We'll gain armor. What are you doing? Preparing for a special attack. We'll save the All Mother's Blessing again because we're not taking any damage. use cover shot anymore which is not what I wanted but we're not taking any damage anyway what are you doing summon an ally reduce damage of all enemies by 20 not play increase random okay well let's play it do I have a stun I don't think so. damage to all of his enemies okay nothing too too special uh, we'll take you out I could use volley but like I feel like it's almost always better I feel like it's almost always better to be able to choose where your damage goes. Until maybe you get like a ton of arrows and then you just fire them all. And it's so expensive too, like. stacking up charges. Uh, I even think I still don't need all mother's blessing to be honest. Uh, let's stun you. stunned you. Oh, you can't be stunned. Oh, right. Okay, that's one stunned. Start with this. Candle. This feels like an echo of something that happened before. Like then, you're left with the sensation of a strange power growing within you.
I think we take a passive. At the start of every turn, reduce armor of all enemies. At the start of combat, gain 20 barrier. If you've played two or less cards in a turn, next turn, gain plus one energy. I mean, none of these are really good, actually. Because barrier disappears right away. And we start, I think, with 75 armor on the first turn. I think. So I guess crows of atmosphere. Return to your village. 